Well, folks, here we are. Back at it one more time for the 2022 Missoula Parade of Lights Christmas Village. Uh, we're here at the X's in downtown Missoula, where behind us is Missoula's Christmas tree, which in a half hour will be lit once the entire town does the countdown with one of my favorite people on earth, the one, the only, Santa Claus. That's right, Santa Claus is coming to town tonight, folks. Now, if you're watching this at home, it might be too cold for you. Uh, there might be too many people around. So the good folks at MCATS and the Missoula Downtown Association are bringing me, your professor of fun, Coach Shane, uh, to give a little tour of the Christmas Village. And I would love to start by saying hello to some of our parade attendees. Everyone say hi, Missoula. Heck yeah. All right, well, going into the thick of it here, the ever-changing, evolving Parade of Lights. Uh, for years, we followed the traditional parade route. The floats would come to us, but we've switched around. We're coming to the floats, uh, and we've got a bit of a market going on. A market, uh, we've got the Missoula Makers Association. Uh, all kinds of... Uh, all kinds of goodies. Smells good, looks good, and I'll tell you, it really makes me feel good. If you have a little extra money in your pocket, go ahead, spend it locally. Get some good, I see plenty of stocking stuffers going on over here. Uh, I, got a, I got a funny little, uh, funny little Christmas joke involving extra money in your pocket. It turns out, gang, that Santa Claus. Turns out I was a little bit broke this year. Uh, so they're asking to uh, to officially refer to the Christmas gift giver as St. Nicholas. Get it? Because he's broke. It's a funny joke. It's a funny joke. I just picked it up today. Uh, we got earrings. We've got soaps. Uh, we've got a wonderful vibe going on. It's Christmas in Missoula. We're feeling it. It feels like a true Christmas village. It is a bit chilly. It's beautiful, though. Beautiful and chilly. So a, uh, a, a, newer, a newer collective, uh, the Missoula Makers Association, you can visit, they do have a, a physical store uh, next, inside of the, uh, the rising star of uh, the beverage scene in Missoula, that Pearl Boba. Uh, the Boba tea is all the rage. Uh, we see some folks, some festive Missoulians gathered around the, the trash can, the oil drum fires, uh, which has been brought to us year after year by the Boy Scouts in Missoula. Uh, wonderful festive things. Those are just I iconic uh, winter scenes that you don't uh, you don't really see too often. I always love warming the hands in front of a in front of a can fire. So the village offering all kinds of wonderful artisan crafts. If you've been in Missoula two days, if you've been in Missoula two generations, you know this town is chock full of crafts, people of all shapes, sizes. Here we have their wonderful sign, the Missoula Makers Collective. Howdy, gang. We're giving a little tour for the MCAT viewers at home. Yay, MCAT. Now, down Higgins, uh, if you have been an attendee of the Parade of Lights in the past, uh, you'll recognize uh, traditionally the, the main feature of the Parade of Lights is that uh, local businesses, organizations will deck out their floats in a festive uh, light bonanza. One of my favorites, going back maybe seven years ago, I believe it was uh, Roots Gymnastics and Learning Center had a flatbed truck uh, built a frame around it, hung blankets, and had a, a light inside of it. Uh, and there was a gymnast uh, doing, doing loop-de-loops around a bar 
uh, when I was lit with these blankets around the flatbed truck that you just saw their silhouette. Uh, it was remarkable. This person's flippy, flippy, flippy around this truck as it's moving up Higgins Avenue. Hello! A very Missoula moment. Howdy doody! You know, you can show this. We are oh, doing the, the MCAT feed of the parade, so I don't have a moment to, to fill it out. Uh, but if you want to uh, tell what you're representing right now yeah, to the good so folks at home watching. This is watching. a campaign to keep local nurses local, uh, just to show our administration to value the nurses who live in the community and who support the community. Um, so it's a campaign to do that and a petition. So it's safe paths and community. I sure want to keep those Missoula nurses in Missoula yeah. as well. As soon as I'm done doing the TV uh, feed, I'm going to come back awesome. and, Thank you so much. and put my support. Keep Missoula nurses in Missoula. Absolutely. Coach Chain supports that. Ordeal, we got Republic Services. Got the candy canes for the folks. Do you want to say hi to the MCAT viewers? Go ahead, howdy doody gang. Beautiful light job on the Republic Services truck, I'll tell you. Here we have those good folks over at the Humane Society of Western Montana. Humane Society, if you want to give a wave to the MCAT viewers. Happy holidays. All right. Moving on down. I will say an impressive turnout of Missoulians to come watch the lighting of the tree, the arrival of Santa Claus himself. You know, I, I hear, I hear a lot of Grinches hang out at the Oxford around Christmas to find some Christmas spirits. Get it? It's funny. Christmas spirits at a bar. Now, yeah, on the, on the note of funniness, there was, a, there was an elf that turned out needed to get a little, uh, little help from his therapist. Uh, feel a little down in the dumps and, uh, He's hoping his therapist could help him with his low elf esteem. Here we have something that'll lift your esteem. What is this? Uh, is uh, Red's towing? Got their big old truck. You typically only see that if you're in a big uh oh, but today we get to check out. That is one pretty gnarly truck, all decked out in the lights. Wowzers! I'll tell you. Looking good. Oh, of course, it wouldn't be a Missoula parade without those Missoula paddleheads. Great ball club. Missoula paddleheads made it all the way to the Pioneer League championships this year. Lost in a heartbreaker. But after taking the cake in their inaugural year, being the runners up this past year, there's a lot of Missoulians looking forward to next season, myself included, I'll tell you that. Uh, one of my favorite holiday activities, making some paper snowflakes. Each one unique and special, I love it. Anyone watching at home, they might be using the, uh, the coach's trick, coffee filters. Coffee filters work excellently for paper snowflakes. Easy to fold, not too thick. All right. Now making our way up Higgins Ave. After a little, after a little Santa pause there as we cross the road. <laughs> We're checking the back end of the Shriners. The Shriners. Good on those Shriners. There are no slouches over the Shriner Hospital, I'll tell you. Every time I think of Christmas and Shriners, I always think of my old neighbor back in West Philadelphia, Jimmy Yashishin. 
straight from Poland. Anytime he'd see me uh, do anything wild or reckless in the neighborhood, he'd always say, what are you trying to do? Spend the rest of middle school in Shriners? I said, no, Mr. Yashishin, no I'm not. I'm just trying to be a kid. We got, wow, Bath Planet decked out. We got a, we got a little raffle going on. Thousand dollars off a bath remodel. I know there's a lot of new Missoulians moving into some of these older homes. Probably said, "All right, I'll take the house, but the bathroom's gotta go." You might want to talk to Bath Planet, your home improvement company. So you gotta love those North Star Jet folks, Neptune Aviation, dumping their dumping their cloud put out those fires all over the country. Lovely. A wonderful touch. Good folks over at Neptune Aviation. Real quality Missoulians over there, I'll tell you. We're making our way in between floats. I got another great uh, It turns out that uh, Santa Claus uh, actually doesn't like chimneys. He, does, he hates chimneys. Turns out he's claustrophobic. We got some some lovely gifts over here from the DSV road transport crew. Up and down I-90 they go, the DSV crew. Just don't step forward, it's a metal slip, okay? Oh, hang on. There we go. Hello. This way. You know Thank you. What oh, Montana kid it. doesn't love a John Deere? Yeah. All lit up for the holiday, I sure do. As we change the, the the style of the Parade of Lights, some people were wondering how the turnout was going to be. Folks, you can see it for yourselves. Throngs. Throngs of the masses of Missoulians. Out, smiles on their cold faces. Having a good old time. Good old veteran center pouring a hot cocoa with whipped cream hey, there. No it's, slouch it's, year after right year. You might as well get one. Wow. Go get hard one. working folks. <laughs> Apologies. Go get one. Go get one. Backing up. Well, folks, I think I have to try it. Do it. All you right. All right. And the whipped cream on top. You know, I would... I would hate to cut in line in front of all these folks. I might just admire the whipped creaming technique. Check out the swag they're passing out. Yes, you know what? I'm gonna do what I feel is the right thing. I'm gonna let those fine, hardworking Zulians. Uh, it's with MCAT, Community uh, Community Television. Yeah, for all the folks that couldn't make it out, we're bringing the we're bringing the Christmas Village to them. So much. But they are, they are. No, as long to, as they don't miss the mistletoe. No, you have to get the, you have to get I'm coming back for it. I do I would just feel so terrible I cut in front of everybody. That's oh, the only God. that's the only yeah. thing. I saw you last year in the That's right, that's right. I was enjoying your camera. I was Santa Claus, clack clack. Know. You know, yep. Uh I was uh yeah, I couldn't find my lobster suit, so I was getting a little crabby, and it really reminded me of why uh, crabs don't like Christmas. Crabs hate Christmas. You know why? Why? Because they're so shellfish. They don't like Christmas. I sure love Christmas, though. Great to see you again. Oh, we got the OG Legends of the Parade of Lights, Boy Scout Troop 1911, responsible for keeping our fingers nice and toasty with those canned drum fires. Are you folks fans of the, the Boy Scouts? Yeah! Yeah, heck yeah! Go Boy Scouts! Woo. Go Scouts! Go Scouts in general, that's what I, that's what I say. Yeah, just a nice sporty Grizz pickup truck with a Christmas tree in it. Sure, why not? I'll take it. Oh, gotta love the U dash electric bus. Rumor has it that in about 15 minutes, my main man, Santa Claus himself, is gonna be dropping in Missoula. 
do a little countdown and lighting our downtown Christmas tree. A lot of folks out and moving. You know, I saw something quite unusual the other day. I saw a snowman walking around the block. And I asked my neighbor, I said, what do you, what do you call, what do you call that? It's a, it's that snowman is totally, totally moving around. I said, oh yeah, it's one of those snowmobiles. And I said, that's rich. That's real good. That's funny stuff you got there, neighbor of mine. Back in the Missoula Makers Collective Village. Oh, we Missoulians, we love our markets. We love our markets, that's for sure. Yeah, we got the good old PepsiCo folks. With it. Nice lit some display. Guy some holiday elves rolling around here. I, I heard some elves earlier listening to music, and uh, I asked them. I'm a big fan of music myself, and I said, "Hey, hey elves, what are your what's your favorite kind of music?" I said, "Rap music, of course." And I said, "Oh, of course, of course, the elves love rap music." And the elves, you know, they get all around the world delivering gifts and whatnot. And uh, this one elf I was talking to earlier was uh, telling some of his tales from dropping gifts off uh, in, in the pyramids in, uh, in Egypt. I said, oh, like, how did the mummies like Christmas? He said, oh, they just love the unwrapping part. And I said, you know, that makes a lot of sense that the mummies would. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, always leave it to Parks and Recreation to be pumping the jams at every parade, bringing the energy, Parks and Rec, the Missoula Way, they got the skateboards, they got the archery targets. Parks and Rec, why don't you say hello to the MCAT viewers at home? Heck yeah! What are the... What are the what are the Missoula youth getting into this winter? What programs are hot amongst the youth? Well, I mean, today, today we were just up at Marshall Mountain, and you know what we did? Were you shredding we were, the gnar? No, not today. Okay. Some people were. Okay. We got Christmas trees. Christmas trees up at Marshall Mountain. A little... From the city to you. That is amazing. Because now the city runs Marshall Mountain. For a minute, it was it was looking close. It was looking like some Brazilian billionaire was going to have the mountain all to themselves. And we said, no, we need to shred the gnar. We need to get our Christmas trees out. We need to have a fun time on that mountain. Parks and Rec, keeping it festive. Thank you. Oh, look at those good folks at Frame of Mind. Got some nice, nice ornaments. You know, I was actually, uh, yeah, I was thinking of how a lot of ornaments uh, become ad addicted to Christmas, actually, uh, because they just get, they get so hooked on the, the tree. Badlander catering, giving uh, a little boost to the grown-ups, getting some festiveness in their spirits. Now we're gonna give our fellow Missoulians more time to gather around the X's to uh, welcome Santa Claus and bring in the bring in the holiday season.
And a big, big thank you if everyone could give it up for the Empower Choir. A time honored tradition to have the Empower, Empower Choir bring in Santa Claus. That's right, folks. The one, the only, my main man, the number one G. Welcome, if you will, Santa Claus to town. Merry Christmas, Missoula. Are we ready to light that tree? We are? Okay, let's have a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it happened again. Hey, thank you for coming to the 20th Annual Lighting of the Downtown Holiday Tree. Brought to you by Dick Anderson Construction and Windfall. With additional major support by your home improvement, the Humane Society of West Montana, Denny Menhold, Honda, Frame of Mind, and RDO Equipment. I am your parade marshal, your professor of fun, Coach Shane. On behalf of the Missoula Downtown Association and its members, we're delighted to have you all here to celebrate this very special season. It's so wonderful to have the opportunity to reconnect in person this year. Missoula, give it up for yourselves for coming out and being a part of the Holiday Village. We want to thank the Washington Corporation for streaming Missoula's downtown holiday tree and the Missoula Downtown Foundation for the new lights and star. That's right, we busted out the good stuff for you, for you, Missoula. Also, thank you to our media partners for this event, Missoula Broadcasting Company and ABC Fox Montana and Pepsi. A big thank you, of course, to MCAT for filming the parade so everyone has a chance to enjoy the fun. We'd also like to thank Petite Construction, The Badlander, Missoula Makers Collective, Reds Towing, and Sound Creations for helping make this event possible. Now, it could not be possible without tremendous community support like you all for coming out. And also a design, cancer sport community, Boyle, Davini, Meyer, Big Beauty's Bees, Neptune Aviation, Betty's Divine, 111, Gather Board, Scotty's Table, Good Food Store, and Payne West Insurance. New this year, we have the Missoula Makers Market, curated by the Missoula Makers Collective, with 25 vendors selling homemade goods. Grab a beverage from the Badlander and do some holiday shopping tonight. Now, come enjoy the warmth of the community bonfire in front of the tree, as well as the smaller barrel file fires. Thank you, Boy Scout Troop 1960, for building our fires year after year after year, and Neil Simpson and Bathing Beauty's Beads for the fire wood. The free cocoa, some of you were lucky to taste, was donated by Hunter Bay, Market on Front, Missoula Paddleheads, Dog and Bicycle, and Drum Coffee. Now, Missoula, if you would all, let's just lift our spirits, let's lift our voices, let's lift our hands in the air, and on the count of three, let's just give as loud as we can a big happy holidays. If you're, only if you're down with that. Missoula, is that something that you might be down for? To yell one, two, three, happy holidays? Well, in that case, let's do it. One, two, three, happy holidays! Christmas, Merry Christmas to you, Santa and Mrs. Claus. I tell you, my favorite five minutes every year are this moment where I get to hang with Santa Claus! Now, and also one of my favorite five minutes is to hear any song that the Empower Choir sings. Empower, Empower would you be willing to do some more regaling for us? Excellent. Missoula, give it up! for the Empower Choir. Well, I'm just 